Yeah, I'm not in the camp of EMF is just all bad. It's a lot of convenience. We're not going to live in a world where we tear down all the 5G towers. At the same time, we want to be aware of what's actually going on. Way over a thousand independent studies show the detrimental effects of EMF on the human body in short term, mid term and long term. We need to figure out, OK, so how can we live in this world but not be negatively affected? We have electric cars being promoted all over the place and you could wonder why, because they they cause migraines, even chronic fatigue, chronic migraines, because they have such high EMF exposure. How do you explain this? It's like a block of gold. You just took your can of water and put it in there and took it out. What did you just do to your water? I charged it, it got structured and optimized. Take a raspberry that's not a good raspberry. The actual nutritional value of an original raspberry isn't there anymore. You can get that information back in. I'm all for woo woo, but this sounds really woo woo. You mentioned wound healing, and there's a study you referenced 60 to 100% increase in wound healing? 85 to 100% acceleration. 85 to 100% acceleration in wound healing with the Infinity Block? Yep. They tend to repair slower. This could be a game changer for diabetics. The crazy thing is, you can put your picture inside. And, and see if she can sleep well. Yeah, I'm trying to just wrap my head around that. Like a photo. Yes. I just don't get how that's translating to her energy levels. So many people struggle with energy, right? Fatigue, cyclical fatigue, chronic fatigue. And that's really a cellular issue. It's really the mitochondria not functioning the way that it was designed. It's not producing enough of this, this gasoline, the ATP, et cetera. Can you help us understand, Philip, how this works at the cell level, how the body produces energy at the cell level, and what are some things we can do to get more ATP flowing through the body so we could feel better? Yeah, so on one hand, it's actually we can have some energy that's around us that is giving us some energy, and then it's literally the cells producing energy, and because of the bad nutrition, the bad air, the stressors that we're exposed to constantly, which could be bad thoughts, to be honest, right? Um, and it could be things like anger and stuff like that, but then also EMF, obviously, and then, then many other things. They stress us to a point where then the cells stop working perfectly. And you can just overcome that with various tools, right? There's supplementation, there's obviously NAD shots and things like that. Um, and then you can also add quantum energy, for example, that leads to an increase in ATP production. So there are various ways to do that. And I prefer the non-invasive way. Yeah, which is the quantum <laughs> energy way, which we're gonna talk a lot about that. EMFs are, you know, 5G Wi-Fi signals. It's invisible. It's hard to like pinpoint. Like I have a router right here in the room, right? There's Wi-Fi in this room. We can't see it, but we know it's causing some sort of cellular dysfunction, right? So can you explain what exactly is happening with the exposure to Wi-Fi, radiation, 5G, et cetera? Yep. So first of all, I want to say, you know, I used to be vice president at T-Mobile in, in the U.S. and in Europe. So uh, forgive me, I'm not in the camp of EMF is just all bad. You know, I, I do understand like both sides and really as a user also, there's a lot of convenience. So I, I want to say that because we're not going to live in a world where we tear down all the 5G towers and all of that. At the same time, we want to be aware of what's actually going on. And if you look at way over a thousand independent studies that show the detrimental effects of EMF on the human body in short term, mid term and long term, then we need to pay attention. We need to figure out, okay, so how can we live in this world but not be negatively affected? And, you know, obviously we have 3G, 4G, 5G is now being rolled out. 5G always um, comes with 3G in, in tandem, basically. So that's a double whammy uh, that mm -hmm. we're exposed to. We have electric cars nowadays that are being promoted all over the place. And you could wonder why, because, you know, they cause you to get migraines, even chronic fatigue, chronic migraines, because they have such high EMF exposure, way higher than any other car. So if we measured, if we measured Tesla drivers versus gas drivers, we would see a difference in their, their cell function? Absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, it, it certainly depends on the actual person, but if you t take one person and have him 
tested before, then have him drive a gas car and then have him drive an electric car. And by the way, it doesn't really matter whether it's a Tesla or, yeah. an, you know, a, um, uh, an electric Porsche, you know, um, we know that they are all pretty much the same. But those levels are also increasing in gas cars. They're, they're not as bad, I mean, by any means, but it's also increasing because you have a lot more electronic now in the cars. And then, you know, it's not just the car then, you know, the car itself already, you know, adds a lot of stress. But, but then if you start using your phone and maybe you have a passenger that's also using the phone, then there's just a lot of activity. And then with an with a electric car, the issue also is the longer you drive, the worse it gets. And you can literally test that yourself with an EMF meter, right? So that's that's really not rocket science. And anyone that says there is no EMF exposure there, I mean, it's just uh, flat out lying. And then it does have negative effects, which you can measure. You can measure that already within minutes, frankly. The Base Institute, as an example, in Austria, they, they went through some hoops to run a study with our technology in an electric car we i can't say which brand because that was kind of you know i know which brand mm -hmm. was the most powerful like electric car on the market in europe and it, it's just crazy they had one test person that couldn't even perform the test because after 20 minutes in that car she needed to get out she felt so bad and so sick wow. migraines um and they are able to measure literally the organ health on, on an individual organ level and see like, how, how are the lungs doing, how's the skin, how, how's the heart, uh, and all of that. And all of the organs relatively rapidly are impacted. And we're talking, you know, one, two minutes, and then you already see the results changing very, very quickly to a point where you have deregulated organs basically um and and the longer you drive the worse it gets and then they tested it indeed with you know you're also on your cell phone you have a passenger that's on the cell phone they test it how does it change when they're in the car for an hour and then what happens if you charge the battery and then that's something where you should never be in the car not even anywhere near when it's you, charging yeah i mean the good news is our technology was able to neutralize a hundred percent of all those negative effects even with the charging of the battery so that's really good news oh. but for the very sensitive people out there you know with our tech the, the the energy itself doesn't go away you still have a lot of energy and if you're extremely sensitive i mean you don't want to be in the car when the battery is being charged it's just don't do that yeah, that's <laughs> wild. Well, it was interesting that your your product was able to neutralize that 100%. Yes. You mentioned quantum energy and I think I think most people hear that. I don't I don't think they understand what that is exactly. If you could just unpack what exactly you mean by quantum energy. Yeah. Well, it's the energy behind the matter. So we find for example, quantum energy in every cell. Each cell has a quantum field. That's how the cells communicate. I think we all understand that we're mainly water on the physical level, right? On a molecular level, over 99% water, but it's not like that we feel that way. You know, I don't feel like an ocean. You probably don't. No, I um, don't. But yet here we are basically mainly being water, right? So now behind any matter, whether that's water or that's this can that is now sufficiently charged. Yes. There there's always space there's more space than than actual matter and the space isn't empty it is filled with quantum energy that is the energy it's you it's not something artificial it's something super it's the most natural thing actually because you could also call it source energy or the the void right it's the the energy you have in the void the zero point energy that's how some people call it. And and yeah, so I, I don't really like the term quantum energy too much, to be honest. We ran with that because that's that's originally how we see it, and that's also how most people can understand it. However, it we work with a very similar understanding that Tesla worked with. Uh, and Tesla, in his model, had the ether, which we have that in our understanding as well it's just that mainstream science if they're if you're talking to some quantum physicist they're going to tell you well there is no ether 
And, but it's exactly the other way around. It's um, very interesting how that works. But, you know, we don't need to get into that. That's, that's, that's something that I, I think for the regular listener is not of any concern because the concern rather is, so if this is like the source energy, what does it do for us? Can it help me? Do I have any benefits from it? And how can I access it? Right. And that's kind of the breakthrough that we, you know, develop that we can harness this field in a way never done before and super concentrated so that you can tap into it. So you can like, like here, for example, you know, you can, you're affected by it. You can, you can hold your hands in there and then there's an even greater effect. So it's something where you can always tap into that. Whereas quantum energy is everywhere, just not in high concentrations mm -hmm. and in high concentrations, that's when, you can start seeing these incredible positive results on the energy system and you know on the physical which we may get into of course but that's pretty much how it works it's super interesting quantum energy is everywhere and, and you know what we're what we have here if you're watching on youtube is uh your your product the infinity block lila quantum infinity block which has been harnessed and, and with this qu quantum energy has been concentrated in here what what exactly is this doing for us right now? It's it's right next to us. Um, for those who can't see it, it's just how do you explain this? It's like this. Um, it's like a block of gold with a space in between. You just took your can and of, of water and put it in there and took it out. So what what did you just do to your water? I charged it and it's it got structured and optimized. And uh, I could have put some extra vitamins in there or a piece of a healing plan at the same time. And then I would have also informed the water with the information of that healing plan, which is information is the same as frequency. You can interchange these words. Uh, that's what you can do with it. If you put water in there or if you put coffee in there or so if you put, anything else. I put my coffee in here every morning, but let's say I put a cup of water in here and maybe like a supplement with uh, like lion's mane mushroom. What's, what's, going to happen there so if you put supplements in there i would first of all not charge it for more than like 30 seconds okay that's already absolutely enough and so what happens is in general that any packaging you have around that gets harmonized and you may find that you know in plastic bottles and and veggie caps and all of that it's not necessarily the best frequency that gets harmonized mm. Uh, if there are any residues of herbicides or pesticides, whatever, that gets also harmonized on a frequency level. The core information of the substance that you put in there gets amplified. And so I'll give you an example. Like take take a raspberry that's not a good raspberry. Like it's... I mean, I don't want to encourage anyone to buy non-GMO. I really don't because I think you should always eat organic if you can. Um, but if you took that, then there's, you know, the, the actual nutritional value of an original raspberry isn't there anymore. And you can get that information back in. Hmm. It, it sounds crazy, but that's it literally what it, what it does. And, and int you know, I mean, we're getting already into, into the details a little bit, but you know we have a lot of evidence. And by the way, tr don't try that at home yet. But in regards to food sensitivities, if people put their foods in there and they're allergic to them, we have not only heard countless times that that works. You know that they can then tolerate the substance. We've actually demonstrated it live on stage at Dave Asprey's biohacking conference, That's right? With Todd and crab meat, right? Yeah, Share exactly. that story. Yeah, so you know Todd is very allergic to honey, avocado, and crab meat. And then he tested it multiple times. Each time he, he charged the substances in the block, then he could tolerate them. And first he thought, well, okay, maybe the allergy is gone completely, which would be great, right? But that didn't happen. So he tried it without charging and he got the full allergic oh, reaction. Boy. But then again, he tried it with charging and it, you know, was great. Uh, no reaction. So then iron and had the idea, I Mitchell, and said, you know, let's just do this a test live on stage so people can actually see that. So they put crab meat in his left arm. It was in front of over 100 people. And then 
it got instantly red, you know, little blisters started to come up and it got very itchy. The same crab meat was like in a circus, you know, <laughs> right in front of everyone in the block. And um, after, I think, five minutes, they took it out, put the crab meat that was now charged as the same crab meat into the right arm and no allergic reaction. Wow. So that's very profound. And we've done two pilot studies by now in, in Germany in regards to gluten, lactose, sugar. You cannot be allergic to sugar, but you have a stress response. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because it, it always shows uh, about 65 to 95% reduction in allergy or stress response after charging, which is quite cool. And um, it's, it's pilot though, so we need way more research, you know, in order to provide guidance, but there's something there. And then we know from the Moto Institute, obviously, you know, they tested what happens with water and when they saw what our tech does, they they asked us if they could distribute our products in Japan, which they've been That's doing super since cool. 20 months. Yeah, yeah I, I've spoken about Dr. Emoto before. Of course, his book, The Hidden Messages in Water, how they did uh, high-speed photography on, on bodies of water. Next, next to the water was written these different messages, right? Hate, love, gratitude. And depending on whether it was positive or a negative word, changed the, the crystals, the yeah. shape of the water. So, of course, like love and gratitude turned into this beautiful crystal. Evil and hatred turned into this ugly looking crystal. So that's groundbreaking, uh, you know, information. Dr. Yamoto is the person who, who started with these research, researching uh, these studies. And there's a, he has a clinic in, is it in Japan? Uh, yeah, and Masaru Emoto, who was, you know, the guy, the pioneer with what he already died, uh, I think just a few years ago. And then his son, Hiro Emoto, now runs the office. And that's in Japan. Yeah. And they've got, Japan. they're using your products exclusively. For, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're selling uh, all products super, there. And they've never done that in their whole history. That's cool. Um, yeah. And, and it sounds crazy. It really does. When I first heard about you guys, I forget who it was who told me about you. It might have been Ben Greenfield or Nat Nidham. I, I don't know who it was, but I was like, wait, what? Am, like, I asked them about the necklace. <laughs> they're wearing the necklace. I'm like, what is that? Like, I'm wearing it now, of course, the heel capsule. And they're explaining it to me. I'm like, that sounds, I'm all for woo woo, but this sounds really woo woo. Yeah. But then I went to your website. And, you know, for example, this infinity block, one of the things I saw on your website, super fascinating. You, you, they, ex, they did live blood analysis, this test, right? And they exposed yep. this, these people to Wi-Fi, high amounts of Wi-Fi radiation. And it showed the blood starting to clot and come together. And then what they did is they put their hands in this infinity block for about 10 minutes and then retested. And it showed the blood going back to optimal state. That's that, pretty cool, dude. That is correct. And it actually also works when it's just in the room. So we we had Dr. Rubik done all those studies, even with just the block being somewhere. So they there. didn't, meaning they didn't have to put their hands yeah. in, in the block. Yeah. It was just in the vicinity, in the room, yeah. and it showed a positive effect. Yeah. It's just, it works faster and more powerful when you put the hands inside. And the reason is because the, the field is most powerful inside. Mm. So the further you go away, the weaker it gets. But, but this already, I mean, this, this thing, and this is the new infinity block. So this, I mean, this covers a kilometer in radios in EMF harmonization easily in the, the field. Sears could see the field probably in a two kilometer radius. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. So what I, I was just telling you before we hit record, when people come over, either like a podcast a guest or a friend, They'll see this and like, what is that? And I'll explain to them the way I just explained it, the live blood analysis and what it does. But then I'll let them know, hey, put your hands in there and let me know what you feel, right? And, you know, sometimes nobody, like my fiance didn't notice anything. But other people are like, whoa, like there's there's this vortex in there. Like, like for me, when yeah. I first put my hands in it, I noticed a tingling and some warmth. I just felt like an energy. It was super cool. Why is it that some people notice, they, they notice it and some people do not notice anything? Well, that's the sensitivity to energy or how we perceive energy. Mm. So when someone can see and perceive energy, they can see it all, literally. And, and they're going to get one right now without me telling them anything about it because they know what it does. We have, I think, over 300 healers that use our products. And because it further amplifies what they do, it, you know, helps their work and they can see the energy. Now that's the one end of the spectrum, right? People that are very trained in that, they do that all the time. Then you have the people that 
feel themselves very well and and usually they can feel that as well also when you're sensitive to emf you can sense that quite well um then you have the other end of the spectrum where people may not be too connected with themselves and you know i'm not breaking this down now to your your girlfriend or partner at all because it could also have different different reasons but in general you know people can't either feel the energy or they don't allow that mm. uh in their minds because it's we've been trained to think and believe that that's not real there is no energy there is no frequency right it's just like the physical the rational the whatever i can yeah. touch and see with my own eyes i believe in and it for some people it's a very hard thing to actually allow that mm. because it's the unknown and then the view of the world and of ourselves can shift if we allow that to be true and so that can be just a subconscious blockage also you know um those are those are the reasons why someone may not feel something but then <laughs> you know it, it usually they feel it in a, in a way when i tell them to do something uh, specifically they can feel it and it works regardless because you can also test right so someone doesn't need to believe in it for it to work right so that's it's all those studies are placebo controlled yeah um so no so you could in, in theory if we had the setup here we could do a blood test you know with her for example and then and then maybe after seeing that before and after she would feel it more in the future maybe, yeah but again it's also not really i mean people don't need to feel it yeah right? as long if, if she doesn't feel bad you know i mean that's already a good thing yeah. right um but i also think that's like a challenge for like for if somebody doesn't feel like you know, it's here, right? And I understand there's there's science and I actually feel it. But for the person who doesn't feel it, I, I imagine it's hard for them to believe it's doing anything unless you do something like that. You actually show them like, let's yeah. do a test, right? That's the difficult part, right? When I first got it and I started putting it together, even me, I was like, oh, okay, there's nothing that's attached <laughs> to. Like, this is this is it. This is everything, right? Right? So it's, it was even weird to me as I was putting it together. But I'm all in. Every morning, I'll put my cup of coffee in here for four minutes. You know, I'll structure it and drink it. I have the, the uh, what's this infinitely, the small one called? The travel block. The travel block that I take with me when I travel. Because usually when I travel and I stay at a hotel, the EMFs impact my sleep and my yep. HRV and all that. So I'll put that. Where is the best place to place the travel block when I'm when I'm in my hotel room? On the nightstand? Is that too close to me or should it be farther away? If you can sleep well with it on the nightstand, you can do that. Um, for most people, I would recommend... A little bit further like away. Like maybe in the corner of the room? Because it energizes you, yeah, right? Yeah, or just like, yeah, exactly. Somewhere in the middle or, you know, not right next to the head. I mean, <laughs> but if you, again, if you can sleep well, go ahead and do that. Um, you can also, you know, people can train their perceptions. So that's actually what that happens with our products also that people use it more. So you can start doing taste tests. So you can put... You take, I don't know, take some Fiji water and put it in two glasses. And one you charge for a minute and the other one you don't. And then you have your girlfriend drink a sip of both and then just tell you which is, mm. you know, there's a difference. Which one tastes better? Things like that. You could do that with raspberries, you know, all these things. That's interesting. But she may not be interested in that, of course. But for people that really want to train their perception, you can start training that uh, that way, uh, certainly. And then also maybe just doing it on a more regular basis to put the hands in, inside or the feet and just feel or do a meditation without, you know, this anywhere near and then do one with the hands inside and feel because that that's actually what it does. It, it's a high consciousness field and it and it super uplifts our energy system. That's really what it does. And then all these physical changes, the optimization of the blood, the heart rate variability, ATP production, wound healing of human cells, all that happens just because of the energetics. You, you mentioned the increase in ATP. And I have in my notes, you, you have a study, I think, what was it, 22 to 30% increase in ATP? Was it? Yeah, it was 20 to 29% increase in ATP. Three studies, randomized and double blind 
done by a university professor uh, here in the U.S. in in the university lab. Which so. product was was it? The heel capsule was it? No, it's the it energy the of the blocks. It was the infinity yeah. block. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so for those, any, blo any block can do that, um, and it depends then. You know, if we used uh, one that I already have at home now, it would increase ATP way more already because it's way more powerful. If you took one that's, you know, older or not as powerful, uh, you'll still get uh, increased, but probably not as much. So it, you know, the field is always uh, does that all the time. The question is just then how powerful is your block? Mm. Yeah. So but this one is very powerful. This one would do more than what the study showed because wow. we had one that was way less than, actually way, way less. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's so many cool things about this. You know, you also have, I'm wearing this this heel capsule that I that it looks pretty cool, but also there is these little beads in there that are charged as well. Yeah. And you have a new mini one as well that I saw that you guys just came out with. What um What is this doing for me? Something similar to the Infinity Block, just at a smaller scale, I imagine? In part, so, you know, the, the beads are charged with pure quantum energy, so you have a quantum field there. But at the same time, the quantum energy acts as the carrier wave, if you will, to make available the frequencies that are in the capsule. Um, so in the capsule, you have some etheric frequencies that activate the self-healing powers of the human body, but then also the molecular frequencies of the most important vitamins and minerals for the human body. So, you know, all your vitamin C, vitamin D, all these things and your most important minerals you have there available in frequency form. So not only is EMF mitigated for the one that wears it, it optimizes your heart rate variability and you have this nutritional benefit that actually can be felt by and with the cells. So we have two outcomes. The minimum outcome is that at some point you can reduce your nutrition. So whatever supplementation you take that's also in there in frequency form, you can take less of at some point and it works better. So when you take it, it has a greater effect. And it seems to be the reason that the cells are reminded of the core information of that and, mm -hmm. and that the bioavailability of any substance you take in then with these same frequencies or I mean, vitamins and minerals um, increases. So that's something that happens at minimum, what we've seen. And then there's maybe five, 10% of the people that don't have to take any vitamins or minerals anymore and they maintain optimal levels. I'm not in that camp. I'm rather in the camp. Um, <laughs> I take the supplements when I feel I need them and it's way less than, than I used to. When I have a lot of physical exercise where I feel like I may get sick or something like that, then I start taking them mm. and I just feel a great effect. And I love to take, a, you know, great supplementation. But again, it's something I don't need all the time. Yeah. You mentioned wound healing and um, there's a study you referenced. What was it? 60 to 100 percent increase in yeah. wound healing? 80, 85 to 100 percent. 85 to 100 percent acceleration in wound healing with the infinity block. Yep, it's again the blocks. We've also tested it with our quantum upgrade, and it's the same thing. Um, again, randomized double blind study, same professor in the university lab, two studies done. Um, and you scratch cells with a laser. That's how it works. You know, that I mean, we don't do, I have no clue. I mean, how that <laughs> even works, right? But in their lab, like they're all set up for that. So they, they scratch all the cells, then you have a control group that doesn't get charged. And then you have, and it's double blind. So the professor doesn't even know now, okay, which is the Petri dish or which are the Petri dishes um, that, that are in the treated group versus none. And afterwards it's revealed so that you have a truly double blind effect. And then you have the treated group, you know, the, the cells that get charged. And then you see, yeah. And, phenomenal um, acceleration in wound healing, which is, I mean, that's a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's really, really cool. I mean, think about how many people like diabetics, for example, who need assistance with their wounds, right? Their wound healing, because they, they tend to repair slower. This could be a game changer for diabetics, which is a large majority of my audience, by the way. 
one of the things uh, you had mentioned is that <clears throat> you also use like special healers as well to harness the energy. Is that right? Well, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, we have a healer network of super gifted people. You could say it's like an X Men team. Yeah, uh, that's cool. Not really the X Men that would, you know, uh, throw fire or something like that. But yeah. on a frequency level, indeed, like absolute, in, absolutely incredible capabilities of seeing frequencies on the granular level and working with energy, and so that cuts down our development time by decades, probably. That's cool, man. Yeah. It is quite cool. And so with them, we develop frequencies, we test products, we further develop the products. And then, you know, obviously we need to, we already know what they do. I mean, at least in a, in a pretty good view. And then we get them into the scientific testing and then um, scientific studies. And then we find out even more, you know, like for example, with the blood, we knew the blocks optimize the blood. And then the capsule as well and all of that. And that it got better. We knew it would have an impact on blood clotting. So it reverses stage one and stage two of blood clotting just within 10 minutes, things like that. That's something wow. we knew of. And then it got just validated by the studies. However, what was also found is that the white blood cell activity and motility increased, which we did not know before. And then the Bayes Institute found out that uh, there was even a reduction in parasitic load in the blood. Wow. Which is, that's, I mean, that's crazy. And they had one test person actually where the parasitic loads decreased by 80% in 15 minutes. That's insane. Yeah, no, it is, it is insane. Um, uh, so, so that's it's quite something. And that's something we just didn't know. We just knew, okay, there's more health in the blood, more blood flow and all of that. But yeah. yeah, I mean, those benefits in terms of like the blood clotting, what it does to reduce the viscosity, similar to like earthing and grounding when you're outside, you get this immediate benefit, it's like taking a handful full of antioxid antioxidants. Yeah. Hey, I want to just briefly interrupt the video you're watching to share something with you. One of my favorite companies that I use for health and longevity and biohacking is a company called Bond Charge. And they have a whole range of incredible products, including the blue light blocking glasses you see me wear right now. But one of my favorite products from them is an infrared sauna blanket. That's right. Uh, you don't have to spend a ton of money investing in a sauna or spending so much time driving to a facility with the sauna. They actually created a sauna blanket that you could use in the comfort of your own home. And I use this all the time. Why would we want to even do a sauna? Well, there's a lot of research and a lot of studies showing the benefits of infrared sauna. The sauna blanket works by raising your heart rate to a workout or a training session. So you burn more calories while you're actually lying down and relaxing. You could burn up to 600 calories in one single session. Also, it's going to cause you to sweat. And one method of flushing out toxins from your body is through sweat. There's also one of my favorite benefits, this endorphin release, endorphin rush you get from using a sauna blanket. And I, every time I get out of the sauna blanket, I feel like I just got a 60-minute massage. And uh, that's because of the endorphin benefit from it. So how this works differently than a regular sauna is that it works by using infrared light, which heats the body directly rather than the air around you like a traditional sauna. This means you get the same benefit at a lower heat. So it's easy to set up. It's super convenient. 30 to 40 minutes uh, will suffice in terms of the length of the sessions. And you do that two to three times a week, you're going to feel amazing. Add that to your keto fasting protocol and watch what it does for your results. You could do it while you watch TV. You could do it while you read a book. I do it while I listen to an audio book. So if you want to learn more about the Bond Charge products, including the sauna blanket, head over to bondcharge.com slash keto camp. And if you use the coupon code keto camp at checkout, you'll get 15% off your sauna blanket. And actually any of their products are 15% off with that code bond charge hooked you up so head over to that domain or click the link down below and go get your bond charge products all right let's get back to today's video so 10 minutes in there with your hands is like the optimal that's where the studies show right you see that that reduction in the viscosity yeah 10 minutes hands in the infinity block you you, you know so well, when I, so the crazy thing is i don't know how far your listeners are but hey if you want to have a mind-bending podcast today so you know you can put your picture inside you can try that with your girlfriend i mean she should be aware of it though uh and and see if she can sleep well if you do that and just 
put her in like I mean the regular I don't know when she starts to wind down her day if she has nothing on the next day and can afford that put her in and see how the night is she may be just way to stimulate it or she wakes up way early um, like that's what Ben happened to Ben Greenfield when he tried our quantum upgrade he cranked it up and he was like well that's cool and then he could not sleep for two or three <laughs> nights. Uh, and where we tell everyone, like at night, you need to level that down, right? And he's like, oh my God, this shit is working. This is really freaking working. And then, he'd, then he asked me, like, what's going on? And I was like, oh, you got to put it down for the night, right? <laughs> um, put it on 500 at the night and he slept like a baby, you know, because if you have the energy throughout the day and you have a good level at night, you sleep like a baby. Yeah. But you can't crank it up too much and you know, have all that energy, you know, what are you going to do with that? Right. So you're, you're saying if I put a photo yes. in the infinity block, let's say, cause we go to bed like at 10 PM. So let's say at 9 30 PM, I put a photo in here of my fiance, Natasia. It'll prevent her it'll energize her is what you're saying. It'll definitely energize her. She may be able to sleep because everyone has a different type of sleep, but then she may have like super strong dreams or, I don't know, she or she may wake up and be like super thirsty. Like there's, I can't tell you exactly how it's going to show up for her, but it will show up somehow. I mean, I'd be surprised if not. And, but, but then again, I don't know if that's the best thing to do for the night. <laughs> yeah. Maybe throughout the day. Yeah, she, right. I don't know if she exercises or something like that, because people that exercise on a regular basis, they usually feel their body quite well and how it is in this exercise and putting the picture inside during that, then you will be in the field because that's quantum entanglement. That's, that's how that works. And, and then, I mean, people feel that it's, it's crazy. You know, that's where the ATP production actually increases also. Like you, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to just wrap my head around that, you know, like a photo yes. of somebody, how is that translating to, I don't understand. I just don't get how that's translating to her energy levels. So because everyone has the, it, it just needs to be a unique identifier to the source of that energy. In that huh. case, a picture of you would clearly be the link to you. So you put that inside and then you're in the field because that's the link. It's just been put in the field. And as long as you have that in there, you are in the field. And, and it doesn't matter where you go. You could travel to Australia. You could go to the grocery shop shopping somewhere, go to a hotel, airport, doesn't matter. You, as long as your picture is in there, you're in the field. And you could also write down your information. You you know, I mean, your birth date, your name, where you were born, that would also work. You could take, uh, I don't know, if you took a piece of your DNA and put it in, in there, same thing. The effect is slightly different, so we actually tested that. And we, we got studies, you know, that it's like there's, it, it works 100% of the cases. It's not like, it's not random at all. It just works. Um, but there are various ways on how you can do it. So experiment with that. You know, take a picture of yourself, um, put it in, and can I it mean, be, do some exercise, you know. Can uh, it be my phone, like a photo on my phone in there, or does it have to be a printout photo? I would take a printout photo for okay. the reason that, I mean, you can charge your phone, which is actually a great idea, but two, three minutes is enough. And then... You would just overcharge the phone okay. uh, over time. Yeah. You mentioned this, um, Ben Greenfield had like this, what did you call it, Leela upgrade? Is that what you said? Quantum upgrade. Quantum upgrade. Yeah. What's that? That's different than what we're talking about. Yeah, here. so Leela Quantum Tech is all about the physical products. It's like the water bottles, the capsule, the blocks, anything that you can touch really and that you can take somewhere. And then the quantum upgrade really works just over distance. It's a newly developed system like a huge advanced system based on this technology it's an analog system that can do quite some amazing things it can do way more than just what one block could do and then we were able to build a bridge to a digital front end so that you can level up and down the strength of the field you can book in frequencies you know ben could say okay at nights i want it on the hawkins level 500 or 600 i want the inner peace frequency at night you know i want to sleep well but you know next day i have a tennis match so i want it you know at 
800 throughout the day, but when the tennis match starts, I set myself a booster to 1,400 on the Hawkins scale, as an example, and I book in the Olympic performance frequency, which further amplifies, you know, muscle performance and mitochondria performance. And um, <laughs> that's how we would do it. And then that happens. <laughs> hey, so uh, is, are, are, are they using like his um, a address to do that? Like, is it going into his home? Like, depending on its like address or how is that working? Yeah, you can do it in various ways. We have different services. You could you could choose it just for yourself. Mm. And by the way, the for yourself, you can you can test that. You know, um, it's 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 a seven day free trial that we offer for people. You know, to just try and feel into it. Um, so you can have it for yourself, and that's literally always just for you. You could have it for the whole home. That's not as powerful for you. Understood. Yeah. It's like being in the shower or being in the pool, like in terms of, you know, that that's sort of the difference. Got it. Um, but it then the home covers your dog. It covers everything, literally. So that that's a great choice as well. Um, and then there's, there's different options, you know. That's super interesting. <laughs> you know, I know those watching and listening are like, wait, what? What are yeah. they talking about? Hey, look, go to the website, leelaq.com. If you want to look at the research studies, there's a whole bunch of great ones out there. And there's different products. You mentioned, we mentioned the heel capsule. You have boxers that I wear when I travel. And even when I don't travel, that help block EMFs. You have the jacket that I wear when I travel that helps to harmonize EMFs. Uh, and then, of course, you have the Infinity Blocks, the one that I have here, and then the travel one. Uh, so it's lilaq.com. If you use the coupon code KETOCAMP, that is a camp with a K. If you're watching on YouTube, it's the sign right behind me, KETOCAMP. And then you'll get a nice discount. Um, where do they go for that upgraded uh, quantum upgrade? That would be quantumupgrade.io. Quantumupgrade.io, seven-day trial, you said, for that. Yeah. Yeah, you could check that out. Well, out of all the things, and I know that there's like... Two, two part question here. First question, out of all the things that you've researched with this technology, what has been like the most surprising, shocking research that you're like, I can't believe that it did this? Well, I think it was really the, the wound healing, 85 to 100% acceleration, I thought was quite strong as a result. And so that was incredible. The parasitic load was was amazing and then actually there was one we didn't yet talk about that was a, a clinical trial with 42 autistic kids in india run by a clinic that specialized on autism and, and treating autistic kids and and they developed a, a pretty cool program actually for these kids all based on diet and nutrition and uh, taking care of parasites and all of that and they were able to get down the so-called attic score by 10 basis points um, throughout their program. And, but then it like levels out. And there's nothing more possible, even if they just stay on the diet and all of that. That's the 10 basis points, the max they can do. And they became aware of our technology and heard by someone out of our community that they had success with their autistic child. Wow. Um, yeah, and that was interesting because they, and they actually did the photo thing. So that was a dad. Really? Uh, he put the photo of his child in every Monday and Monday used to be the bad, the worst day of the week for that kid. And the kid got evaluated multiple uh, times throughout each day by the team that just takes care of this kid. And then they figured, wow, Mondays is now the best day. And he reported that in our private telegram group, right? And then that doctor heard of that and was like, wow, you know, this is amazing. We would like to run a study and see you know, if that can be replicated and, and if we see these positive results as well. Long story short, it ran over a six month. It was three months of um, quantum healing over distance with the infinity block. And then it was three months of wearing a capsule like that, but it was customized towards, you know, the autistic kids. We had some specific frequencies in there that, that just support them on that level. And we were able to get down the attic score by another 20 basis points. Wow. Yeah, there were a couple of kids off the spectrum after that. That's, that's incredible. Yeah. That's really, really remarkable, if, especially if you think about, you know, the CDC's pro projecting that one in two children will be born on the autism spectrum yeah. by 2032. That's crazy. It's not too far away. 
So the photo thing sounds like it works. Um, <laughs> now, let me ask you this. If you put a photo in there of President Biden, will it help him have more energy and run the country better? <laughs> So first of all, two things to mention because the and that's nothing we did to the field. Like we only concentrate and harness it. But the nature of the field is to harmonize and neutralize everything that's destructive or harmful to life and consciousness. Now, that also is in it, and it amplifies everything that's supportive to life and consciousness. That's really in essence all you need to understand. If you really get that, then then you know everything it does, uh, or to, or what it can do. You could not do voodoo with this. You could not put a picture of someone in there and let's say put a death wish in there or put a herbicide or a fungicide in there. It's like, oh, you know, see how that guy does with the fungicide. It just doesn't work because the fungicide frequency is a harmful frequency and gets instantly neutralized. It's just the field just eliminates it from the field. It's not there, so you couldn't do that. And I think that's important to mention, and that's also otherwise we would have never released this technology if it could be yeah, used for used evil. for nefarious purposes. Yeah. Now, um, usually you would want to get the consent of someone if you if you do something like that, right? There's exceptions, you know, if you have an uncle in the hospital that is in the coma, you know, you can just you just check in or ask, you know, whoever in the in the family for that. Um, I would usually ask for consent, um, but you know, since it's a neutral quantum energy field, no specific frequencies, no other intentions in there, um, you can still do something like that. And that everyone on a soul level though can decide to not have it impact them uh, on such a deep level. If, if you understand what I mean. So someone like the one that you mentioned could on a soul level also just reject the mm. field, right? There would be, it would be very hard to uh, reject it and, and some effects would definitely be there because it just works that way. But um, yeah, that's as far as I want to get into politicians yeah no me too believe me we, we we first thing out of politics i was just making a funny statement <laughs> oh yeah that's it i'm glad that you can't use it nefariously you know for the for evil is it safe to say the longer the photos in there the more energy it gives that person yes and and since you know the uh, these are so high consciousness fields and you know there's the so-called hawkins scale that some yeah people share, share the hawkins scale some people read power versus force but i don't yeah. think most know what that is what is that so it's Hawkins set this uh, consciousness scale and, and basically determined and, and found out that the low levels of consciousness, you know, would be in the lower hundreds, like anger, shame, guilt. Yeah. Those are all states of vibration, basically. You know, if you vibrate in fear, then you call in fear and you usually feel energetically contracted. You know, if you feel anger, same thing right or shame like then you, you kind of want to hide you're not expanded at all you're not on a high, in a high conscious level if you move into unconditional love that's at 500 540 joy you're more in these states of openness of inviting also that into your life so because it's you have an attractor field basically so and whatever you radiate and vibrate is what you invite into your life um even though the brain doesn't comprehend that. It's that's just really the way it is. That's why you know you can work with positive affirmations and things like that as long as you, as they come from deep from within, that you feel them, not just like some words, mm. empty words, don't do anything. Yeah. Um, so he set the scale from zero to one thousand. And our products, like this one, for example, break the Hawkins scale. Literally, like this one is <laughs> at over 3,000 on the Hawkins really? scale. And how can that be, right? So because actually everything shifted on Earth about 10 to 15 years ago. That how long ago? About 10 to 15 years okay. ago, where a massive shift happened on Earth where basically the vibrational state that the earth was vibrating in changed so significantly that much, much higher vibrations are possible on earth now. 
for objects, for people, for for anything basically. And and that is why all this has shifted. There isn't an end anymore. There's no limit. It's also not three thousand. It's also not the limit. There, we actually can't see a limit anymore. Mm-hmm. So, and and we don't know where it's going to go. Um, we'll just go with the flow. But it's, um, yeah, it's 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 quite profound. And what's what's also profound, and that's a good message for everyone. So, at the time Hawkins wrote the book, he said that an individual, a regular human, could only like increase their conscious level throughout a lifetime by maybe like 20, 25, 30 points or something like that. That is completely outdated, absolutely outdated. Like you can literally increase it by hundreds and hundreds and hundreds Mm. of points. Um, Because, yeah, it's, think of it as, you know, you have soil where a seed can grow and the seed grows. And form before that, at some point, you had just concrete and no soil. And, and it wasn't possible for any seed to develop or anything. But now, suddenly, you have fertile ground and everything can spread. That's pretty much what we're seeing now. That's so fascinating. Yeah. Why do you think this shift occurred 10 to 15 years ago? What do you think the primary reason was? Well, the, the reason is just because that's the way it is. I mean, that's a stupid answer, <laughs> but it's it's actually the, the truth. We're coming out of the so-called Kali Yuga. It's a, it's a long, long, long age of darkness. Darkness means we forget or forgot who we are. We forgot the nature of ourselves that we're energy and frequency. We're, everything is very focused on the physical and the material. Everything is very dense. We lost the ability for telepathy, for all these things, right? We even, we even forgot who we are ourselves, right? So we're moving out of that age. So it's, it's very clear that because of that, also these frequencies and energies are now shifting that. And, and tools also like these are popping up now where you can suddenly increase your own vibration and then you're starting to realize that it's just the time and i bet you you know if we sit here in five years there's not going to be a single person listening that's like oh this sounds crazy really um you think this is going to be mainstream (laughs) it's gonna gonna be quite rapid five years telling you all right you heard you heard it (laughs) philip mark you know five years let's ask philip the same we'll bring him back here in five years (laughs) Yeah, it's 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 very very interesting. Um, what do you? What's next for Lila Q? What are you working on next? What's the next big thing? It's a good question. So I mean, we're further developing the quantum upgrade on on one end, and we just had a huge mega release of of further levels that we made available. Um, we're working on some super exciting studies for Lila Quantum Tech. I think we're moving a lot into professional athlete studies mm. in, in 2024, which is super exciting. And in terms of, you know, there's research, constant research. There's, you know, we're, we're looking at longevity. We're looking at several biomarkers. Um, I think we're doing another big study in regards to HRV. So well, actually there's a men's health study underway with the underwear you know, which I think is is exciting. So what, like looking at sperm count, testosterone? Sperm count, sperm quality, mm. you know. That's uh, important. Testosterone levels. That's especially with the decline in, in uh, fertility. Yeah. That's so important. Yeah. Well, that's super cool. I think professional athletes definitely are going to see some cool results with that. It makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah. To recover. I like the idea of doing the testing, as you mentioned, um, with like my fiance, with like having a structured water and a regular water and seeing if there's a difference. Caroline Allen, who was just here, I was just telling you from Beam Mineral, she said that there was a zoo in, um, I think she said in Europe, where they got a whole bunch of her Beam Minerals and they gave all the animals at the zoo, they gave a bowl of the Beam Minerals um, electrolytes and then just regular water. And all the animals choose to, chose the Beam Minerals water. Like they know healing, right? So I would, I would, I would be curious if we did something similar, like to my dog, right? A bowl of structured water that I put in here, and the infinity block and regular water. Have you tested that out at all to see if your dog prefers either one? Or I have not tested that with our dog, but I would be very confident she would go do yeah, me the too. charged water. 
um, because I mean, dogs, they love it. Cats, you know, they, they're very drawn to this energy. They, they know healing. Yeah, yeah. Like our cats, I have the red light panel there every morning. They're in here waiting for us to turn it on. Like they, they know healing. I love it. Uh, I have a final question for you, um, Philip. Minerals, minerals, minerals. You hear a lot of people out there speaking about the benefits of taking minerals. And it is important because in this day and age, our crops, our fruits, and our vegetables, they are depleted of minerals. The crops we have today are very different than the crops we had 10, 20, 30 years ago. And if you're doing a low carbohydrate, keto, carnivore diet with fasting, this is especially important for you because what happens when you lower insulin on these diets and fasting, you're gonna shed a lot of extra water weight, body water weight, which is great. You're gonna feel lighter, look lighter, but the problem is that your kidneys kind of go through this diuresis process where it sheds minerals and electrolytes. So you've heard of the keto flu, you've heard of symptoms doing keto and fasting. People just don't feel good sometimes. This is the number one reason why. So my go-to for replenishing my electrolytes and my minerals, for enhancing my immune system, for gut support, for detoxification, is bean minerals. I love bean minerals because it's simply a liquid I drink every day. It doesn't taste like anything, it tastes like water. And I know I'm replenishing those electrolytes and those minerals. As a matter of fact, it has fulvic and humic compounds and these have over 70 trace minerals and really important electrolytes to replenish your body with. They have these incredible sprays that I take with me when I play basketball, when I'm on the go. If you have muscle cramps, you spray this directly. They're called the Instalite spray. There's also the capsules that I take with me when I travel, the Electro Boost capsules that I take with me to make sure when I'm traveling, I'm supporting the immune system and I'm staying hydrated and my minerals are being replenished. Check out Beam Minerals over at beamminerals.com. Use the coupon code Azadi, my last name, at checkout to get a nice discount. That is A-Z-A-D-I at checkout over at beamminerals.com. I talk a lot about, I call it vitamin G, gratitude. Yeah. Very powerful, potent. Uh, you, you talk about the Hawkins scale, like that'll elevate that, that like immediately, right? S several levels. Um, gratitude is so important to me. You mentioned it's not just about like the affirmations or, or saying what you're grateful for. It's about feeling it and feeling that gratitude. Neville Goddard used to talk about this, like feeling is the secret. This guy knew this in the 1950s. So what, uh, I want to ask you, what do you have uh, gratitude for today? What do you have vitamin G for today? I'm very grateful I can be here. I'm grateful I could bring my dog. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm very grateful that, you know, we have listeners that are open to this and that, that get into this, that maybe do some research and to, to help, you know, bring up the spark in people um, that there's more in life than just the physical, the material um, that I can do that um, and help with that. As a midwife in the process, I'm grateful for that. That's awesome. It's beautiful. You're so right. A lot of people think I need to see it before I believe it. When the truth is, it's the complete opposite. Right. <laughs> Once you believe it, then you see it, right? So we encourage you all to have faith uh, in what we spoke about today and do your own research. Go to leelaq.com. Check out the research studies, the ones that are already on the website. You have a whole page dedicated to the studies and the ones that are coming out. And go check out the products. Test it out for yourself. That's the ultimate way. Like yeah. You test it out for yourself. I notice a difference. Get whichever product resonates with you. Use the coupon code KETOCAMP. And uh, me and Philip are now off to the Biohacker Expo to have some fun there. So thank you so much for making it happen today, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Awesome.